ultimately I still haven't decided whether I'm going to actually upload this video. Um, but I'll just record it and we'll go from there and who knows. Uh, so what I've got here, I've got an AGS 101 that was, um, unfortunately it's seen some better days, but long story short, the gentleman who owns this, this is not my Game Boy for the first time, second time actually, uh, anyway, gentleman who owns this has a neurological disorder and he actually did the work himself and uh, unfortunately his neurological disorder affects uh, the dexterity in his hands and it makes it really difficult for him to work. So, you know, he, he took a shot, he did his he did his best, and quite frankly he did a damn good job, I think. Um, and yes, I am being intentionally vague because that's nobody's business but his. Uh, anyway, I'm going to see if I can't get this fixed up for him. So there are a few issues. This is how it was shipped to me. Uh, so first thing you might notice, it doesn't even have a battery cover. And yeah, he also shipped me a bag of parts. And there's a battery cover in there, so we're not we're not too far gone here. We can get this going. But anyway, I figured I could get this done a lot quicker if I didn't do a video. But there are a few things wrong with this SP that I think, you know, if I do a video on, maybe I can help out someone else who's reshelling their SP for the first time, um, you know, maybe show a couple things, a couple pitfalls to avoid. Uh, so the reason the gentleman sent this over to me is mainly because his buttons are messed up and he doesn't think he can, he'll be able to manage taking this apart and putting it back together again. Uh, most notably A and B are swapped, so we have A on the left here, B on the right, and the membrane for the brightness button just Kind of fell out of place when he was putting it together. Otherwise, everything does work on this console. It does boot up just fine. Um, if you can manage to press that button, it does work. Um, but there are a couple of other little issues, like it's 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 missing some parts here. Uh, the uh, little bumpers over the screws. Uh, it's missing the LED, the light pipe for the LEDs. Um, not all the screws are in the right place or fully inserted and uh, well let's see if we can't get that fixed up for him. So there are another couple issues that I want to go over specifically that I'm making the video for. If you notice it's not at the right angle. This is this is the angle that his SP is naturally opening up to. For contrast this is what it should be opening up to. It, I know it's kind of a subtle difference but I think this one kind of naturally wants to go there. Yeah, the problem was I put it up against this. Um, but you can see this is where it clicks open, right? It's supposed to open up a little bit further. So I'm thinking he might have his hinges in backwards. We'll go ahead and take a look at that. And um, well, I've got this here as a donor in case we need any parts. I think we'll be good with what we have, but just in case. Uh, another thing, I'm going to hook him up with a new battery because uh, if you guys are watching this anytime when I upload it, if I upload it, you've probably just seen a rant on these batteries. And um, another issue, this screw wasn't fully inserted. So when this got shipped, the battery kind of got tweaked over it and the battery is actually bent now. So I don't think that's really safe and I don't want to give it back to him like this. Um, Especially not when I have, within my means, the ability to upgrade them. So that's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and get started by tearing this bad boy down. And, um, oh, one more thing worth mentioning. I know I just said it's not really safe to use, and then I'm going to use it anyway. Uh, the uh, power switch on this Game Boy does need to be cleaned. Uh, you see, as I switch it off, it goes to red for, or maybe you can't even see that on camera. I can see it in person. Uh, but anyway, if you jiggle the power switch, it'll go red sometimes. So that's just classic indication of a dirty power switch. And I think I'm going to clean that up for him. But let's get this bad boy torn apart first. And I'm... Excuse me if I skip around. Like I said, not all the screws are in the right place. So some of them... I need to swap over to a different screwdriver to take care of. And 
I think while I'm here, I'll even calibrate his LCD if it needs to be done. Why not? See if I can't hook Homeboy up. All right. So he's missing the springs on the L and R buttons. That's no big deal. I'll fix that when I'm... That'll be like the last thing I fix. Just got to pop in new springs. Uh, so far, everything here looks good aside from the missing screw and the... Uh, whatchamacallit, the membrane being out of place. Also, the um, the battery cover was never going to go on because it was missing that square nut, but it is in this bag of parts here. So we'll get to that later too. So all this gentleman asked me to do was to fix his buttons for him, put it back together and send it out. But I'm going to, I'm going to do a little bit more than that. I want to help him out, you know, it's within my power to do so. So I feel I am obligated to do so. All right. So we can put that back together with the speaker. That's what his buttons are going to look like, but let's see if we can't fix these hinges too. So. I'm going to take all these out for now. Ooh, I'm going to have to remember which one goes on the left. I asked him about it, and that was on purpose. He does like it that way, so we're going to keep it that way. Oops. Son of a... Never mind. It didn't go far. Yes, again. Yes. Is that so? Like that and I'm just gonna remove the screen for now so I don't mess it up in any way all right now let's take a look at this I'm thinking the issue with his hinges are simply that they're just backwards because this should open up to a much different angle and uh, I don't know it's, it's kind of wobbly it's not very solid here um, and I have Somewhere in here, maybe? Nope. I have a tool that I actually designed. I was probably in the drawer with all the SP parts on it. Yeah, there it is. Well, that one didn't print so well. Is there another one? Yeah. I have a tool that I designed to make removing these hinges a little bit easier. And, uh, I don't know. And try it out. The idea is you just give it a push. That pops right out. Whee! That's what I get for leaving that drawer open. There we go. And once those are cracked loose, they're a lot easier to get out. Uh, use my tweezers just to push them out. Now, but then again, if they're not inserted right, they might not come out easily. Okay. Okay. 
So we've got two things here. Uh, first is that his original hinge caps were broken. Now, I'm not sure if that was a result of just crappy plastics. So that's... Oops, there goes my donor. Um, because this, this was clearly a uh, graphite unit, and his original battery cover is shattered in a few different places. So I don't know if that's just a result of crappy plastics or if something else happened. Um, something else with the install. Now, both these parts look identical to me. I don't know which is which, and I shouldn't have just grabbed them like that, because now I got them mixed up. But we'll put it back together and see what's what. I think that's right. I don't know. Because the markings look the same on both. Could also be that we just have two left hinges or something. Goes in like that. And I'll probably end up removing these again in a moment. Yeah, I think that's backwards. Oh, maybe not. Oh no, yeah it is. I don't know. It's it's super weird. I keep going back and forth. You know, is it? Is it not? Is it? Make up your mind, Mako. Let's just swap them, and then uh, it'll be easy enough to tell. Because usually there's a black one on the left and a white one on the right. I've always seen them come in two different colors. That makes it easier to tell them apart. Now see the other way felt better. But it still feels weird. Maybe we do have two two right hinges or something. So uh, that's where my donor comes into play. Bear with me a moment. I gotta take this thing apart. I have aftermarket hinges somewhere, but I don't want to downgrade the poor fella. OEM hinges are so much better. Except in this case, because I think he's got two rights. We'll get that now before I forget. Oh, nice. I never cleaned that though, so I'll come back to that. <laughs> And now I need a 
less explode you. Yeah, I still don't know what's up with these things, by the way. I was much more careful the first time I took this thing apart. But I just, I don't care. They're gross. <laughs> well, this one's falling out. I didn't even do anything. Why that's not working. There we go. All right, so there's that. We don't need that. So yeah, as you can see here, we got the black one on the left and the white one on the right. So I think that's the issue here. We're going to eject the left hinge on both models. There we go. Now it's perfect. Uh, only issue is these uh, hinge covers. Not quite sure this is what he was going for. I did notice on the right hinge he actually had a uh, select button stuck in there and I don't know if that was intentional or, intentional or not uh, but quite frankly that's genius. I mean look at how perfectly it fits. I can't even get it out with my tweezers. Like, I don't even have to, oh, there we go. Now I'm getting, I was going to say, I didn't, I wouldn't even have to use any adhesives or anything, but damn, you know, I like that. All right, so he's getting that left hinge. I think that'll solve that issue. Another issue, uh, unfortunately, used two of the incorrect screws here. He used screws that were too long. There's not a whole lot I can do about that. Now, I was fully prepared to give him parts off of my GBA SP here, but unfortunately I did the exact same damn thing right here. So, I mean, it's, it, it's kind of a shit situation no matter how you spin it. Um, so I think, unfortunately, he's just going to have to stick with that. But... See if I can't find any good uh, hinge covers or something to give them. I have... Shoot, I'll just give them these ones. Why not? It already matches. Mm, maybe I should double check first. Whatever, I'll strip this console for parts anyway. Actually, no. Uh, looking at the time here. I think we're going to take a quick break, let the camera cool down. While that's going, I'm going... Oh, that's the wrong one. On his Game Boy here. This one. 
AGS 101 models are designated by AGT, whereas 001, the front lip models, are AGS. Also, there's an extra big transformer on the back of the AGS 101s, or 001s. That is not there on the 101s. But anyway, I'm going to clean out the power switch on his unit while I'm waiting for the camera to cool down. And I guess I'll take that opportunity to ask him about the hinge covers, because I don't want to do anything he doesn't want. I'll be back in a moment. I have explicit memories of cleaning this myself, and yet somehow it was never cleaned. Regardless, it is now. All right, so back. I've done nothing other than clean this PCB here. And, um, well, I got in touch with uh, Homeboy over here. And honestly, I probably should have just went with my gut because, oh no, I just realized how hard these are going to get be to get to. All right, well, whatever. I'll make it happen. I was planning on reshelling this thing at some point anyway. Might as well uh, get a head start. I can get one of them up pretty easily. You know what? Hang on. I gotta strip this thing down for parts anyway. I'll leave that screw in. I do oh duh. in one single video I will have stripped two different SPs for parts to fix one SP but it's okay because all three of these are going back together at the end of the night I'm just creating an amalgam of the best parts for homeboy because I don't really care if my parts SP looks or works well because I literally bought it for parts and this thing I'm planning on reshelling anyway so I don't really care if I'm pulling parts from it that I'm planning on replacing Get a screw? What the fuck? There it goes. Yeah, because this looks totally refund to reshell fun to reshell, right? Yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. Might end up taking a shortcut or two. Leave it in the purple and just. Ooh, that's so tight. Just replace the other parts. You know, custom two tone. So I'm going to leave the screw in there even. Because it is not easy to get to. That's not the right screw. There we go, now I can get to my hinges. 
Uh, where's my tool? Sitting right behind the camera. Oh. Let's finish taking this apart. Problem the second, all these wires end up sticking with this thing. That's okay. So we don't need to actually take this thing apart. I just need to pop the hinge out. And hopefully not destroy everything in the process. Why is this not coming out? There it goes. Goodness, that's tight. There we go. Alright. Alright. Pop out these hinges now too. I could have just went with my gut, man. I didn't have to ask him. I mean, he's clearly got good taste. Or I wouldn't already have most of the parts in the right color. Maybe it's just me. Let me try a different tool. Yeah, it might be the tool. These things do wear out. There we go. Alright, so these don't have to come all the way out, just a wee bit more than they are. And then this will slide right off. I said this will slide right off. Come on. Come on. Alright, you know what? There's an easier way to do this. <laughs> and it's not this, apparently. Good lord. Um, tweezers, maybe? Set this mess aside. Oh, wait, I should put some hinges in this first, huh? Does the black one go on this side? Uh oh. I did something dumb, didn't I? No. Wait. How did I have. What? 
Oh. Okay. Never mind. I got confused because I have two that are the complete opposite here. The black clips with the white body. Yeah. Pay attention to the color of the clips, not the body. That was right. Alright, that'll hold it for now. There we go. Now he's got nice and clicky hinges too. You know, I just realized that the start button is white and the select button is black because the A and B buttons are white and the D-pad is black. I would have made keeping track of those a heck of a lot easier. Whoops. Oh well. What do I do with that extra screw? That'll work, but I don't want to use that one. That's it. I'm putting them back together with all OEM screws if I can as well. There are four different types of screw in the GBA SP. Well, two different types of screw and two different types of um, uh, fastener, connect head, whatever the hell it's called. So on a GBA SP, there are either tri-point tri -point screws or um, GIS screws, which look like Phillips, but they're not. Trust me, they're different. Um, that's the point for a different day. On the inside, all of the screws are GIS. On the top half, all of the screws are tri-point. And on the outside, aside from the battery cover, all the screws are tri-point. I've seen on AGS 101s, which is what this is, these screws are all also GIS instead of tri-wing. Don't know what's up with that, but that's just the way it is. Um, but anyway. All of these are short screws. This is the one long GIS screw that you'll get regardless of variant. And then three short GIS screws in here. Oh, I'm kind of forgetting something, huh? Gotta put the A and B buttons in. Oh, and this thing here. All right, looks 
a little crooked. There it goes. Oh man, wouldn't that suck getting this far and then accidentally ripping the ribbon or something? God, don't jinx it. <laughs> Feels like it doesn't sit right. Just kind of spread these screws out. I don't know which one's which. <laughs> Oh, there it is. All right. Rings in there. Find his square nut here somewhere. There it is. Like some sort of terrible claw game. Goes in there. All right, let's. Some springs on this bad boy. How did that happen? That's why it wasn't sitting flush. There it goes. Drop the one part I need. There it is. So the springs are directional. They do only go in one side. So it doesn't fit. Just grab the other hinge or the other button. And I do genuinely have a pile of these things somewhere. It's just easier to pull them from a parts unit. That's the wrong screw. That's the wrong screw. Somehow I lost a screw.
this oh it's right there duh found it gotta be careful with this one it's very easy to put in too deep alright oh boy's getting a brand new battery and screw it why the hell not? It's so much easier than transferring over the screw. Just give them the whole damn battery cover. Okay. Let's try it out. Let's make sure everything works, huh? Nah, let's take a quick break. Stay tuned for the exciting conclusion. All right. So I think I have a game in it, so you know I've tested it. Let's go ahead and clean it up, yeah? And yeah, no, we're still missing a piece. A couple pieces. We'll get there. We'll get there. Just hang on, trust me. I never liked window cleaner. I never... You don't quite get that streak-free shine that it promises. And I know this says Family Dollar window cleaner, but this is actual Windex in here. It's not... Just a Family Dollar brand container. Okay, it's half Windex, half Family Dollar. You got me there. Never mind. IPA, on the other hand. It's easier to get a streak free shine that not doing a very good job of that though huh we're not going for perfect though never were Looking at that wall wet though makes me want to get a uh, glossy version. Clean install just would not be complete. But uh not a good sticker, don't you think? So I have some Game Boy Advance stickers, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Pocket, I think. I don't know, didn't look at that real hard. More Game Boy Color, more Game Boy Advance. Here's some Game Boy Advance SP, but these are just the cheap generic Chinese ones. We don't want this one. This one's AGS001. But I also got, in this other bag here, got some goodies in this other bag. Let's see. Got some serial numbers that are totally legit. Got some stickers there. I forget what that is, a Game Boy Micro serial number, Game Boy Light label, Game Boy Light label, more serial number stickers, and here we are. This is what we wanted. 
as an AGS 101 sticker. Unfortunately, it's not perfect. It is still very obviously aftermarket. But it's what we got to work with. But it's still pretty darn good. don't do so well if you don't get them down perfect the right perfect the first try good god they're sticky though okay let's try that again on this side His original sticker on this battery cover. I don't think that I can transfer that over, unfortunately. It is just not. Well, maybe it is. Hang on. need a knife. Again, heat would help, but I'm seriously not too Worried about ruining this if it's not salvageable. But I think we're going to be alright. Unfortunately, the adhesive on it's already a little bit far gone. But... But it all worked out. That adhesive's not nearly as far gone as I thought it was. It's sticking down noise. Very noise. Right. That's his. That's his. Save these for next time. I suppose it does not need Game Boy Light sticker. All right, last step here. I'm going to use, nice, I already have it. I'm going to use some 3M 300 LSE tape here. these don't have backs on them. I'm 
And this is going to be tedious. But just stick with me. We'll get there. I want this thing to put up with the toughest of abuse. I don't want any screw covers to go missing just because, you know, the wind blew a little bit too hard today or something. I know this stuff ain't perfect. It's probably not even um, legit 3M adhesive, but good enough for the girls I go out with. That being said, I think if it's good enough for my consoles, Plus, the alternative was no adhesive anyway, so I suppose it can't be that bad, can it? I'm having such a hard time with this. There we go. Now the little ones I'm not so worried about. I'm going to cut some adhesive anyway. I've got, well that worked out. I was just about to say how I cut four in case I lose one or mess it up or something. And in the process of saying that, I did exactly one of those things. Okay. This one's going to turn out a little bit weird. Hopefully I don't have to pull that out and do it again. 
Who dares disturb me? No, I'm kidding. All right, one more. Mind me, that's just my Discord going off because I leave my volume on for whatever reason while I'm filming. All right. So hopefully these things don't go anywhere until they uh, are ready to be removed. Hopefully, all works out. Man, I'm stoked. This thing, this thing looks so good. I'm so stoked. All right, enough of that. You guys all know it already works fine. So all is well here. How dare you? I don't find that fascinating at all. Anyway, and, and, best part, we have a brightness button. That works easily. Popped in the uh, light pipes for the LEDs there. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot I can do for the cracks in the shell here, but Maybe next time, we get this guy a new shell. Looks like there might be a crack up here too, but I think that's fine. And all the buttons work nice, easy, fine. I don't have, uh, oh, if we go to the PC, I think that'll, oh no, because I have it set to L equals A. Well, nonetheless. All works nicely. I think. Oh, and listen to this click. Yeah. I think this is gonna turn out very well. Is this the original jewel? I think it is. Okay. It's even already got an original jewel in there. Man, I am so stoked to get this thing packed up and shipped out. Uh, but there we go. Um, so, long story short, again, to sum up, dude was reaching out for help. I saw my opportunity to help, so I stepped up. Um, homeboy's not paying for any of this other than shipping. And uh, I, quite frankly, I, I hope this all works out well for him. I hope he enjoys. I hope he gets so much fun out of this thing. Um, and with that new battery there. You should get quite a bit more time out of it too. Unfortunately, I just don't know. I don't think, I don't feel comfortable shipping this thing back. The battery is bent. The package was a little squished when I got it. And uh, with that screw, it just didn't work out too well. But now that everything's sorted out. Oh, and he has the hinge covers. God, this thing's, this thing's clean. This thing's beauty. I do a little bit better job cleaning, but otherwise, I'm going to call it an evening, clean up my workspace here, um, start putting my other 
GBA SP back together, and uh, until next time. Thanks for watching, folks. Have an excellent night.